iconic Hubble Space Telescope making a major discovery. NASA has just announced it spotted the most distant star ever seen. Here's a look at the star that NASA is calling Arendelle. The name translates to morning star in Old English, and old is Arendelle. Apparently, it formed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. The newly discovered star knocking down the previous record holder for the farthest star, the light of that star named Icarus, or Icarus, I should say, took 9 billion years to reach Earth. Arendelle took nearly 13 billion years. The discovery comes as the rival James Webb Telescope captured this stunning first-of-its-kind image just of another star just weeks ago. Now scientists are trying to figure out just what this newest Hubble discovery could mean for the future of astronomy. NASA scientist Dr. Michelle Fowler now. Michelle, experts say this star is much further than the previous most distant star. How did this happen and what does this discovery tell us? Well, this was a wonderful coincidence of nature. There is a cluster of galaxies that's closer to us. It's only about 5 billion light years away. And I know that doesn't sound very close, but all of the mass of that cluster, many, many hundreds of galaxies, is actually warping space and time itself. This is something predicted by Albert Einstein 100 years ago. Mm. And all of that space, incredibly, is warping into a natural telescope, a telescope made of space and time. And way on the other side of the universe, just conveniently lying up. We think it's just a coincidence. We're looking back at a star whose light left 12.9 billion years to go to get to us today. Man, that is incredible. The, the James Webb Telescope has been making major headlines lately. W what does this discovery mean for the future of the Hubble? Well, the Hubble Telescope amazingly is going strong after nearly 32 huh. years. And the Webb Telescope, which launched in December, is going to follow on in Hubble's footsteps. Take this star, for example. Hubble found this star, but Webb can see it much, much better. We're going to be able to find out how hot the star is, how massive it is, what the chemistry of its, the, the star is, all by using the Webb Telescope. So the two are working in conjunction very well right now. It feels like this is a really extraordinary moment. Oh, absolutely. The goals of the Webb telescope are to actually see back in time so far that we see the first generation of stars, the first galaxies form. And luckily for us, Hubble used this gravitational lens to pick up one very, very far away. And that bode wells for Webb. We, we know those stars are out there and we can really see stars that far back in time. When you saw it, were folks at NASA like, I can't even believe this? Well, at first, I have to say I was skeptical, as any good scientist should be. You sort of say, well, wait a minute. How do you know that's a star? How do you know it's not some big cluster of stars or even a galaxy? At that distance, we can barely see even entire galaxies. But then the data came in and it became more and more convincing. And I realized, wow, you mm. know, there was a cosmic coincidence. And the star so far away was actually magnified thousands of times brighter than it should be because of a natural lensing of space and time itself. Michelle Thaller, thanks so much. Appreciate it.